Okay, so now we're going to read the other stories of Please and Thank You book from Richard Scarry. This is called Sergeant Murphy's Safety Rules. Here is an old friend, Sergeant Murphy. He has a few good rules everybody should learn and obey. Always fasten your seatbelt in case the car stops suddenly. Little sister's doll wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Poor dolly. Cross the street at the crosswalk when the light tells you that you should. Never chase a ball into the road. You might be hit by a car. Ask an older person to get the ball for you. Don't lean out of the window when you are riding in a car. Don't run on crowded sidewalks. Don't push people either. Even for fun, somebody may get hurt. So here we go. See, there's the dolly didn't have her seatbelt on. You always cross on the crosswalk and you let the ball go, right? And then look, people run and all the eggs are going to break. Don't play near the water. Sergeant Murphy had to jump into the water to save Ralphie Raccoon. Very good, Murphy. Don't throw sticks or stones at people. You can hurt somebody that way. Sergeant Murphy had to put a bandage on Walter's head. He bought some ice cream cone too. Wasn't that nice? Never, never play with matches. Sergeant Murphy arrived just in time with the hose. Sergeant Murphy tells his family to be careful at home too. His little girl Bridget knows she should stay away from the hot stove when Mrs. Murphy is cooking. Here we go. See, he helped from the water, right? And then he was nice. He bandaged his head and bought him an ice cream cone and put out the fire. I mean, she's staying away from the stove. But Bridget doesn't know she should not leave toys lying on the stairs. Poor Sergeant Murphy. I'm sorry, Daddy. I won't do it again. See, he fell down the stairs, so you can get really hurt. Okay, and the next story is Dolly's birthday party. Loli, Huckle, and Little Sister were all invited to Dolly Pig's birthday party. They brought birthday presents to give Dolly, and they put on their very best clothes. When they arrived at Dolly's house, they all said, Happy birthday, Dolly! And Loli said, This is a very pretty dress, Dolly. When Dolly began to open her gifts, her brother cried because he didn't have any presents. He should be patient. When his birthday comes, he will have lots of presents to open too. Dolly thanked everyone for the gifts. Then came the birthday cake. First, Dolly made a wish. After that, she blew out the candles. She almost blew the cake away. They could hardly wait to eat the beautiful birthday cake. And the ice cream, too. Loli loves ice cream. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream's pretty good. Later, they played pin the tail on the donkey. Each child took a turn, and the youngest went first. That is the polite way to do things. Why do you su who do you suppose won? Lowly, he pinned the tail closest to where it was supposed to go. He won a very nice prize too. But somebody must have thought Lowly was the donkey. Look at his tail. Ha ha ha, laughed Lowly. What a crazy donkey I am. At last, it was time for the party to end. Loli remembered to say to Dolly and her mother, thank you for a very nice time. He is a very nice, polite little donkey, isn't he? So they played, they, they opened the presents and sang happy birthday and she almost blew out the cake and looked and they're all eating the cake and ice cream and then pin the tail on the donkey and that's where Loli got a tail. How silly is that? Not just silly. Okay, and our next story is Loli Worm's Horrid Pests. 
Lowly Worm knows some really hard pests. He hopes you aren't one of them. Here is Selfish Pest. He won't share his tricycle with his friend. This is Litter Bug Pest. He throws his rubbish everywhere. Rubbish is trash. And here is the Gobbling Pest. Don't be like that rude fellow. He takes small bites and chews slowly. Keep your mouth closed while eating. Mm. Not nice. Wait till you see the picture. Look at the grabby pest. He took little sister's ice cream, but grandma is going to catch him with her umbrella. Don't take things that don't belong to you. Never pick on children smaller than you. That is being a mean bully pest. Look at that. So we have all of the different pests, not sharing, right? Being a litter bug. Look at the way he eats. Look at all the food that's all around, right? And then he took the ice cream cone that didn't belong to him. That wasn't nice. And he's being mean to people that are younger and look smaller than him. That's not nice. Don't start to talk when others are already talking. You will be an interrupting pest. Just say politely, may I ask you something? Or may I tell you something about that? That's a nice way to talk. A teasing pest is just awful. Nobody likes to be called names and sticking out your tongue isn't very pretty either. A noisy pest is always shouting and giving people headaches. No one likes to have a headache. Loli also hates quarreling pests and fighting pests and smashing pests. They spoil all the fun. And don't be a crybaby pest when you lose a game or don't get what you want. Loli worm never cries. Right? And there's also driving people crazy pests. When their parents tell them they can't do something, these pests just keep pestering and say, why? Why can't I? Over and over again. Whining pests are very annoying too. Don't whine and carry on if something doesn't work the first time for you. Try it again. When that's enough, well, that's enough pests. Let's look at some good friends and neighbors for a change. There you go. And then we have one more story and they just told us what it's going to be. Good friends and neighbors. Good friends and neighbors always help each other. Right now, all the bunny family are trying to help grandma find her glasses. Where in the world could she have put them? Can you find her glasses in the picture? Look in your book, you have it. Pig Will and Pig Me Too are also good neighbors. When someone asks for them to do something, they do it right away with a big smile. So here we go. Can we find grandma's glasses? This is grandma. Where's her glasses? Do we see them? Oh, right there, just like grandma has her glasses on. Good friends always cover their noses when sneezing or coughing but it's hard for Eddie Elephant to cover his nose when he sneezes. Look out for germs, everyone. What does Loli always say when he asks for something? Please, may I? Thank you. And what does Loli say when someone gives him something? Well, that was the thank you. What do you say too? Good for you. If you have a friend who is sick, visit him or send him a card. Tell him you hope he gets better soon. Share with others if, if you would like others to share with you. Everyone likes to receive presents. Give a present to someone once in a while. Kisses make very nice presents, but don't be stingy. Give a big kiss. Look at that. When you are leaving somebody's house after a visit, always remember to say, Thank you for the very nice time. Loli even blows a kiss when he leaves. Go to bed as soon as your parents tell you it's time. No one should have to be told a dozen times. All right, Loli, please take off your hat and shoe. 
and go when you go to bed. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight. Just a minute. I have to get a glass of water. Here you go. And that's the end in two parts. Enjoy. Mwah.